Regan? Well, to, the, to Clint's point, Kyle Busch in the 18 car had that discussion a few moments ago with his team about when Denny Hamlin is pushing him through the corners, how much it changes the effects of that race car, whether it's loose or tight, depending on which side of the bumper Denny gets to. Told Denny to calm down just a little bit back there. Denny said he was just trying to learn for later. Oh, oh. oh no! Big crash on the back straightaway takes out William Byron, Kyle Busch, and Harrison Burton. Oh, crap. Somebody was upside down. Who it was. Lap 63. Caution number three. I would say it's that 21 car, it looks like, by looking at the roof. Oh. Alex Bowman's in it. Somebody took a hard shot to the rear bumper that we saw on the onboard camera. Around it went. Ross Chastain involved. Now watch the 21 up high with Brad Keselowski behind. He's flanked off that right-hand side. Come off the corner, the car got light exactly like I was talking about. Man, it went over too, I was right. Dang it. A lot of good cars. Denny Hamlin. With a spin there, not sure how much damage. Kyle Busch, 24 of William Byron. They're both going to get swept up in this. Oh. Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell gets into Burton. Kevin Harvick right in the midst of all that. So as the laps wind down. Your chances to win an exclusive prize from the Bush race team are winding down, too. Here's more from an ARCA driver. Hey, NASCAR fans, I'm Amber Balkan. Crash out of turn four. One car got sideways into the wall, and half a dozen cars are in it, including Joey Logano. Tyler Reddick will be two of the casualties in the left rear. Uh, is down on Logano's car. High sided there. Seems like these cars that get two flat tires on the same side get bottomed out on the suspension. He can't go anywhere. Kurt Stuck. Busch, Martin Truex also involved Kurt here Bush at lap backing 152. Up on pit road. That is uh, Tyler, Tyler Reddick. Reddick. He has a little more damage to the back of his car. Five away, four away. Fifth caution of the day. Reddick with a big hit in the left rear and extensive damage to the left front as the AMR safety queen uh, team is on the on the scene. Let's see how this got started. Uh, there's oh, Truex right front damage to his dang car. It. 17 years and coming oh so close to Denny Hamlin a few years back. Jacques Villeneuve gets into the back of Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick, he was tank swapping in front of him way before Villeneuve yep. got there. I don't know if it did because of contact right there, but. Man, right in Truex's lap. I think Kurt and Joey Logano are going to be okay. Depends how much damage is on. There's the right side tires going down on Logano when he gets to that grass and bounces through it. The bottom has the best momentum. Two has the best momentum. All right. So Stenhouse left his dancing partner. He went down, chose to go down and blocked it. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, Around and into the fence you, goes Harvick. Oh, man. And it's a seven-car jam session. Eric Jones is in it. Noah Gregson's in it. Dang it. Chase Elliott. Todd Gilliland all torn up and climbing out. Oh, Kyle Larson up. hoping for his first top five in the 500. Now Kevin Harvick can't see both sides of that car to assess damage. But uh, I do. Yeah. Left front is way towed in. It's, yeah. it's hurt bad. And Noah Gregson, the Cinderella story of Team 62. 
Eric Jones, who was poised for a top five finish. From the Goodyear blimp. Harvick outside of Keslowski there. And Bubba Wallace. Here comes Larson. Oh. Jammed up. Larson had a huge run on the outside, and he was trying to slow down, slow that momentum down to get to him. But as he got to him, it kind of seemed like Kevin was having the 17 was backing up to Kevin as well, and it just exactly. accordioned. Yeah, the, the Harvick was having to slow down. Larson's got a huge run here, but watch about, Kevin try to. It, Kevin's it got a run on the 17 yeah, at the same yeah. time, so Kevin has to check up here, and Kyle's got a ton of momentum. Yeah, you saw Kevin kind of move to the outside, and tie, uh, Larson was trying to tee him up, square him up, so it was a good bump draft, and they both hit at an angle and spun him around. Bubba Wallace gets up there with the two forwards, and they edge out front. Oh. Oh, crash. Stenhouse in the wall. And Chris Busher with him. Might have seen this movie before earlier in the day. Seventh caution flag, lap 196. He's just able to push harder than everybody else. And I mean, he's using it. He's using it for all its might. And he's not going to give anything up on it either. I mean, there's not, there's no mercy on the push right now. Ricky Stenhouse led the Daytona 500 with eight laps to go. And Crushed. we'll go home alone. Heartbroke. Yeah, I'm, I'm heartbroken for him. I mean, that, that kid, he does a great job. He's one hell of a race car driver, you know, and his restrictor plate game has really been strong the last couple of years. We've watched him be up front, lead races, be able to hold guys off by himself. Didn't have to have a partner to do it. He's been able to, to, to hold his own up there. And that's a tough pill to swallow. Right, that wasn't a, a bad block or anything else. Moved down in front of somebody with a big run. He just unfortunately got turned, and he was doing everything right. He had himself and his race team in a place to win this Daytona 500. He came off the. He was side drafting Bubba pretty hard, but when he come off of it, that thing was gone. Just got a little, for the ride. little wave in it. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing not because David Reagan just snuck through with the third one in a row. He is blessed. You'll see his number 15 come through here after saw Ricky Stenhouse come, gets saw Ricky around. come down a little yep. bit toward the 23, and then as he came up, then it just I think pushed he came around. down. It's just light. It was light with him pushing hard on his rear bumper, and and that may not even the ride. that may not even have been Ricky turning yeah, down. Yeah, I don't think it was. That I think he been, was correcting it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think it his, may got pushed down that light. Way. And, yeah. and Kyle Busch dodges another one. Brad is going to need Chase Briscoe to lock on to him to push him by those two. Kozlowski had the run, but he's going to need Here the it help. Comes. Here it comes. comes. Big push from Kyle Busch and from Chase Briscoe. He's locked on there, too. He's going to have to stay there. Inside Here was comes there for another a second. push from Kyle Busch on an outside. Cindric can't get too far out. Coming, Coming to turn to three where it all came undone last year on the final lap. Briscoe's out. He can't get to the six Austin Cindric, whose grandfather won the run. Indy 500 as a car owner. Cindric is going to bring them to the line way up high to block Ryan Blaney. And at the line, Cindric beats Bubba Wallace by half a car length, and they crash going into turn one. <laughs> this race never disappoints. No, it does not. And David Reagan found one he couldn't miss. Austin yeah. Sindrick, the winner of the Daytona 500. If you remember in the pre-race, he said a rookie, and the Holy two cars cow. never won. Holy cow's right, kid. You just won the biggest race of your life. 23-year-old Austin Sindrick. <laughs> From Mooresville, North Carolina, in his eighth cup start, gives Roger Penske a happy birthday present. Bubba Wallace coming in second right there. That was a huge run by him. I thought he was going to turn him. It was just out of time. 
there was so much stuff that happened that last lap. I mean, even midway down the backstretch, you didn't exactly know how this was going to shape up coming off the four. All right, from the Goodyear blimp. Briscoe getting a little roughed up on the high side by Kyle Busch. They have lost touch there with Keselowski on the outside. Bubba Wallace gives Blaney a push. Here's Briscoe with a big run yep. on the outside. That was the big run. They Bubba come up Wallace to block. pushed Ryan Blaney right there. Huge run on the outside and a massive block by Austin Sindrick to win this Daytona 500. If he didn't make that block, Ryan Blaney wins this race. Exactly. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.